My nursing experience or my journey has been um, uh, very fulfilling and, and uh, at times very challenging. During my training um, years, um, the original idea came to my mind um, uh, basically while I was attending to pressure care and um, huge decubitus ulcers or pressure sores. The mortality and the morbidity of pressure ulcers is quite uh, horrific. We don't actually know how many people die as a direct result of pressure ulcers because that's generally not written on the death certificate. And the costs of treating these things is in the millions and heading towards the billions. It's all about relieving pressure. That's one thing we do when we attend to pressure care. We um, turn the patient from site to site. It's going to meet the needs of a client who's going to continually deteriorate and one of the conditions that I think this bed would be very good for is the client who has multiple sclerosis or such a disease like that where they may be well some days and able to move themselves around so they don't need quite the turning, um, the turning regime that it, it can do. And then there are days when they're fatigued and just not able to move then you can change the settings such that you'll get more pressure re redistribution by turning etc. By experimenting with them we've probably learnt to use the beds for quite a range of reasons. The obvious one would be palliative care and we've certainly used the beds for that reason but also some of our elders were having very disturbed nights because they were being repositioned quite frequently and by putting them into a turning bed we're able to allow them to sleep all night and that's where a lot of positive feedback has come from not so much the elder being aware that they've benefited from the bed but certainly the family can see that the elder is more settled and less disturbed um, and it has reduced um, the pressure sores. Being able to actually stay in, in the um, homes rather than having to be placed in institutions um, in a number of um, wonderful feedback which is very inspiring. So how is this achieved? Well, to start with, its operation is manual or automatic and simple to use. The bed can be set to rotate by me in five degree steps every five or ten minutes and it can't move until the safety cradle is in place. It moves six sideways steps to the right and then marginally different six steps to the left, giving the patient 12 unique positions every one or two hours. Can you imagine what that means to me? And can you imagine what it means to the patient? The pressure on, pressure off ratio of 1 to 11 is a huge improvement on the current methods ratio of 1 to 1, resulting in lower incidence of pressure ulcers, their accelerated healing, prevention of tears and bruising, and dramatically improving patient sleep and well-being.